One morning at the sheds, all the engines were talking right before they were getting ready for work. I hope I don't want to pull cars again. They're always troublesome, and they've been giving my splendid coat look dirty indeed. At least I get to pull the express. That is much better than those lot. Yes, well, to be honest, Megan, not all the cars are troublesome once you've come to shunt them in the yards. Besides, if I'm correct, you were detected to fish train the other night and got bursted it out with the fishes. As long as I can remember the story from Ernest, who had seen that happened, it wasn't my fault for that accident. The workmen had banged that cargo hard onto my tender. Yes, however, you were kind of bossing them about, if I recall. Anyways, Ethan, do you know how to pull a freight car without the brake van? Well, if I only pull a freight car without the brake van, then it'll be alright. But if I pull a long train, then I would need a brake van to help brake it in case I go down hills. It helps slowing them down without crashing. Oh, I see. I hope you can't pull a long train without one, can you, Andrew? No, Mark. I have to use a brake van to help prevent me getting into a serious accident. If not, then the cars are bound to give me a lot of trouble. I'm not going to do that. Otherwise, we'll know what will happen. Oh well, I hope you checked the brake van properly. Last time I did, the coupling seems fine. Just then, Mr. Newton arrived. He told Andrew to pull freight cars today that he was to deliver the heavy loads to the docks. So Andrew puffed off to collect them. Andrew soon arrived at the yards, and all his cars were there waiting, including the brake van coupled behind. Thank you for shunting me these freight cars, Ernest. You're welcome, Andrew. The brake van and the end of the train, however, had a little bit old coupling, and then the cars were up to their mischievous tricks. No one noticed what they would happen soon enough. The conductor climbed aboard the brake van and blew his whistle. And Andrew was ready to go. He began to set off, and the cars soon started to bump him as they went along. Ouch! Stop doing that, you lot! But the cars didn't care. They continued bumping him so hard that the coupling between them and the brake van broke. Since now the coupling is very old, the brake van was left behind. The conductor blew his whistle. And Ernest honked his horn to stop Andrew, but he was too far away to hear them and continue on his journey. Andrew puffed through the tunnel along the route. He was having a splendid time chuffing down the line. Neither him nor his driver and fireman had noticed that they had left a brake van behind. Soon they came to a hill. Andrew puffed up as hard as he could, but as he reached the top, the train felt very heavy. Come on, you cars! Don't hold me back. We are not holding you back, Andrew. Then how come the train is heavy? Well, it's because you left the brake van behind. Yeah, the one that is left at the yards where you're pulling us. Andrew was shocked, but before he could say anything else, the cars broke away. Ha ha! We've broken away! We've broken away! Oh no! I must go after the cars, or there will be trouble. So Andrew puffed after the runaway train. The cars were speeding down the main line through the stations, and everyone was surprised to see what the commotion is about. Andrew puffed back as fast as he could, trying to catch up to the cars. Oh dear, I shouldn't have left the brake van behind. Those cars are being silly for bumping me like that, and I don't know why they did it. Up ahead, Ernest was rolling along the track. He had collected the brake van that Andrew left it behind. Then. Ernest saw the line of freight cars coming towards him. Goodness gracious! Ernest shut his eyes 
and blasted his horn. Luckily, the cinnamon heard it and switched the cars into the siding, and they bashed through the buffers. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, but only two freight cars that derailed, and the others stay on the rails. Just then, Andrew arrived. He was relieved when he saw what happened. Thank goodness the cars had stopped now, and now I was hoping I'll have to get the brake van back from my train. Well, I have it right here, Andrew. Oh, I see you got it back, Ernest. Thank you. I didn't know I left it where you had shunted the cars ready for my train. Oh yeah. Well, this brake van is not connected to the train. It's because the coupling is very old and it needs to be replaced, so it'll look as good as new. And Mr. Newton says none of this was your fault, Andrew. And it was all silly freight cars that bumped you hard to leave the brake van behind. Andrew was pleased. Soon, when the brake van's coupling was fitted in, it looks as good as new. And now Andrew can easily pull the train with the brake van attached behind. He knew too; it's important to have it for his train, and the cars were fully well behaved, so there would be no more causing confusion and delays.